I'm Shannon. Hi, I'm Gohan. And welcome to our van. We built everything ourselves. I did the build and he did electrical and plumbing. So here are our top regrets or if we were to build another van, what we would do differently. First of all is our bed situation. I mean, for how big our van is, I think we did really well, but I think I would have liked a fixed bed more because it is kind of annoying setting up and retaking our bed apart every time. When you have all the sheets on and you need to get something from underneath, like you have to unmake the bed to get to the electrical area or to get to the storage underneath. So that is a little bit inconvenient. So when we make another van, that's the first thing I will change. So another one of our regrets is something that we actually solved, but it was initially going for a gas stove versus an electric stove. The gas stove just had so many red flags from the beginning. Uh, we could smell gas even after we set it up. We had to go and refill gas if it ran out. And it just, it, it didn't, it, it just never felt like it was ever gonna be safe and also took up a lot of space the gas tank was massive um, we pivoted to the electric stove and it's sustainable because it uses you know the green electricity from the solar panels it's cost effective you don't have to refill every month or two depending on how often you're using it and you get all this extra space that you would have lost without the without those that propane tank so mm -hmm. big regret was even thinking about going for the gas stove don't do it if you're gonna have if you're gonna have a stove in the van and it's literally just you plug it in and it's ready to go. It's that that easy. The next one is our flooring. I mean, I do like our flooring a lot and we actually bought nice flooring, but it did get scratched up quite easily. So I think I would just maybe go for a little bit more expensive, a little bit more durable flooring because flooring isn't something you can just easily take up and replace. I would have to take up everything to replace the flooring. So now our flooring is kind of scratched up and it's not, not that noticeable, but I notice it, so it bugs me. Another big regret was going for deep cycle batteries versus lithium batteries. Cost-wise, it's not that big of a difference. In the, in the beginning, everything we read was saying, yeah, it's more expensive, but it's totally worth it to go for lithium. But our system was just so much worse off without the lithium batteries. We made worse decisions because of the worst battery, like having a gas stove instead of electric stove because we thought we'd have less power. So highly recommended. Lithium batteries are supposedly last longer. Yeah, they're more expensive, but you'll enjoy it so much more. I think it's worth every penny. I'll link it down below. Another regret, super, really similar to the batteries. One um, is just cheaping out on the solar panels. We got two instead of three, four maybe. So, solar panels, the cost is going down rapidly. It's really cheap, so we could have just spent a couple hundred extra bucks and doubled our solar panel you know, system. But now to do that, we'd have to kind of change up a lot of things on the, on the roof. We still might do it, but totally recommend it to just max out as many solar panels as you can get it's worth it they're not that expensive um, and you'll be able to enjoy the van and the system much more and our last regret and which is probably the biggest one is the van we bought the reason why we bought this van is because it was so cheap we didn't want to risk a ton of money since we didn't have any experience whatsoever but because we are going to build another van we're definitely not going to go with this route again like with our van had 140,000 miles on it. So even though we put $20,000 into it, it's and we bought it for around $9,000, we really can't resell it for very much more. Like if we were to resell it, we really wouldn't make much profit if any because the van is so old. Like why would someone risk buying such an old van even though the build is brand new if we had a new car our profit would go up drastically so our next van we're definitely gonna buy a brand new van if you were to start over like our position back then would you have bought in a brand new van i don't know necessarily if i'd buy a brand new van but i definitely buy a van with less than fifty thousand miles we saw a bunch a bunch of vans that were you know the twenty thousand dollar price range and if you're already going to spend 20k on flipping it or a 10k whatever it is if you have you know an extra hundred thousand miles that's 10 years of using it depending on what you drive I mean it's to me it's just worth every penny plus most people you know if you're financing it obviously if you have the cash it's awesome if you're financing it it's a small difference on the monthly payment to get a $20,000 van versus a $10,000 van uh, but you get to enjoy it and also if you want to sell it you also are more likely to use it since you're not worried that 
it might break, whatever it is. So I don't know. Mm -hmm. I think just it makes it much more enjoyable. But we love Bella. So yeah. even though she's a little a little old and she's been through a lot, love you, Bella. But yeah, thank you guys for listening and watching. Let us know if there's any other videos you'd like to see about our van or about anything at all. Tell them about your OnlyFans. I don't have an OnlyFans. Should I? Shut the f- <laughs> Goodbye, I mean, hey, if it made yeah. me money! Oh, look how sandy she is. Yeah, look how nuggety she is. <laughs> Dark, boomy. Dark, boomy.